Welcome, members of the Royal House. Welcome, our esteemed Earthrealm guests. We gather once again to honor my late husband's legacy. To continue the tournament that he founded with Lord Liu Kang in hopes that it would foster peace among realms. May Jared's soul watch over us with pride from its resting place in the living forest. Lord Liu Kang. Empress Sindel, it pleases me to once again be your guest. Here, you are always welcome. Now, let us meet your champion. Earthrealm's champion is Raiden, your majesty. He has earned his place by embodying the very best qualities of Earthrealm's people. You seem nervous, young man. I'm a stranger in an unfamiliar land, here to compete against its greatest fighters. Yes, I am nervous. As you should be, you have a difficult path ahead. It has begun. As tradition requires, Outworld's initial competitor will be Sundo's first constable, Li Mei. May she defend our realm's glory, as well as she preserves our capital's order. Your Majesty, I will honor both the Royal House and all of Outworld with my combat. If so, you will vastly exceed my expectations. Remember, were it not for Jared's tradition, you would not be here. My compliments, Raiden, on a well-fought match. We'll see how you fare in the next. General Shao, whom have you chosen as our next competitor? Your Majesty, I have chosen Reiko, my second in command. As a boy, Reiko was orphaned during the Kafala War. Though captured, his spirit remained unbroken. He scratched, clawed, and survived. After the war, I took him in, molded him into the perfect soldier. Few others are as well versed in the ways of war. I am ready for my next opponent, Your Majesty. Whom shall I face? Patience, young man. We are adjourned until first light. I hope to see you all at this evening's banquet. I'm sorry, you're 10,000 years old? Oh, talk about aging gracefully. My husband Jared believed that the future of our realms lay together. Let us move forward in open dialogue, letting no secrets tear our bonds asunder. Your Majesty. It's an honor to be here and to meet your people. I can already see there's more that joins us than divides us. <laughs> Our peoples could not be more different, champion. Excuse me? You heard me. Earth realm is a devoid of all... That's enough, General. My apologies, your majesty. Perhaps I've enjoyed too much of this excellent wine. With your permission. You may go. It is bad enough we may lose to the Earth Realmers, but then you go and drunkenly insult them? You needlessly stain my honor and your family's proud military tradition. May I speak freely, Your Majesty? Again with this? If you must. We must act on the sorcerer's prophecy. He warns that Liu Kang will conquer Outworld. And his predictions are usually impeccable. But I've no proof of Liu Kang's ill intent. 
His interventions have kept Outworld at peace for centuries. He herds us into compromises, shackles our independence. If we could meet our enemies in battle, we'll take- You would consign us to endless war. Better that than be Liu Kang's lapdog. If I see evidence of the prophecy's accuracy, we will act. But only then, and only at my command. Did not your illustrious father teach you that war is the last resort, not the first? He did, your majesty. Do not forget that, general. Come. You asked to see us? I saw what happened this evening. Uh, there was nothing. Was something I ate. Was it? I can't chance it, can I? If you fight tomorrow, the symptoms of your disease could manifest. Kitana will take your place. What? Uh, there are already whispers she should replace me as your heir. This will make them screams! Your illness is your fault. Why you left the palace that night unattended is still beyond me. I just need a time alone, away from all this. I never thought that... That's your problem, Melina. You never think. A mother is only trying to protect you, sister. If your disease becomes known, you will be banished to the wastes. For you to hold the throne, we must keep your secret. Continue to surprise Raiden. Among others, you have defeated Kotal, Motaro, and Shiva. Only two fights remain. Are you ready, Earthrealmer? I am, Your Majesty. Then next, you face my daughter, Katana. Your Majesty, this is unprecedented. Raiden's next opponent should be your heir. Melina is unavailable. She's away on pressing Imperial business. But I have not prepared him to battle Kitana. He's already demonstrated great skill. Can he not improvise? Do not worry. I can do this. Very well. I will be no easier to fight than my sister, Earthrealmer. I suffer under no such delusion, Your Highness. I will win this fight. For her, my Empress, and all of Outworld. It's time for the final match. It's a testament to your abilities that you've made it thus far. But now you must face General Shao. Victor of the Tavarian War. Conqueror of the Quatan Plains. Defender of the Navala Coast. As has his family for generations. General Shao defends us with zeal and tenacity. All of Outworld is grateful for his service. That's a notable list of accomplishments, General. I have done it. Congratulations, Raiden. Earthrealm wins. How dare you, Li Mei? It's not enough that you let Jared be murdered. You let Liu Kang destroy the rest of my family? My heart broke when your husband died. I lost not only my emperor, but you, my closest friend. I know you may never forgive me. But don't be blinded by anger and grief. We are here to help you. <laughs> No, daughter. Your condition. No, Melina. I forbid it. I must. If I won't risk my life for the throne, I'm not worthy of it. I remember.
remember teaching you that, princess. You were but a girl. <laughs> that was long ago. Much has changed. My loyalty to your family hasn't. Trust me now as you did then. Please, princess, just listen. We shouldn't fight. Praise Argus. Thank you. I am in your debt. No, your majesty. There can be no debt between friends. I am glad she is safe, and that our conflict has ended. It is paused, not ended. Li Mei has earned my goodwill. Whether you do remains to be seen. I seek only peace, your majesty. Is that why you send minions on secret missions into my empire? You've proved yourself the enemy I was long warned you would be. I understand your anger, but I had reason to believe that Shang Tsung posed a threat to both of us. Until I confirmed them, I did not want to burden you with my suspicions. And now? They have proven true. Shang Tsung, Quan Chi, the General. They conspire to conquer our realms. A serious charge. Where is your proof? At Shang Tsung's laboratory. If what you see there does not convince you, I will surrender Earthrealm without a fight. Oh, how could I have so misjudged them? For Shang Tsung to indulge in such depravity, for General Shao to condone it, they are not the men I thought them. Despite my best efforts, neither man nor Quan Chi are who they were meant to be. They're not your responsibility. They're outworlders. But it is I who crafted their destinies, along with those of all other beings, at the dawn of history. You created the realms. I is your mind addled, demigod? I am a mere demigod now. But eons ago, I was more powerful than all of the Elder Gods combined. I was a titan, and the keeper of time. This is Gears. Your Majesty, Your Highnesses. Giris is the guardian of the Hourglass, a celestial object which lies beyond the realms. The Hourglass regulates time and destiny. When I wielded its power, it was upon me to craft all of existence, which I did when I restarted history. Restarted? This timeline was preceded by billions more. Though this is the first of Liu Kang's design, the others were designed by his predecessor. Kronika was obsessed with equalizing good and evil. When a timeline veered too far to one or the other, she would halt it and restart history, tinkering with lives and events in the hope of achieving her golden balance. Prior timelines, Kronika gave Shang Tsung and Quan Chi mastery of the most vile magics. Shao is not a general, a tyrannical ruler bent on conquest. Yusidel were his ruthless wife, who would do anything to preserve your privilege. When I took the hourglass from Kronika, I vowed to do better. So in this timeline, the sorcerers would not gain their dark powers. Shao would be your loyal follower, 
And you would rule Outworld firmly, but fairly. But someone has interfered with Liu Kang's design. Xiao, Shang Tsung, Guan Qi, all have been groomed by an unknown entity to be the villains they were in previous timelines. Where to begin? Am I to kneel to my creator? Do you expect worship? No, your majesty. My prior role was thrust upon me by circumstance. I am in no way divine. You had power over all of creation, yet you gave it up. Because I saw how it drove Kronika mad. I knew I would fare no better had I kept it. You. How dare you conspire against Outworld? Not against Outworld, but against your misguided rule. Your deference to him leaves us all vassals. So you sanction these unspeakable horrors? Lie to me about the threats we face? Thanks to you, Earthrealm blood is already on my hands. Bloodshed, without cause or provocation. Don't move. Empress, everyone, stay back. What is it? The Amulet of Shinnok. A weapon of terrifying power. It should not exist. Its maker is powerless, as Liu Kang designed. Yet more proof of foreign interference. Enough, Prattle! You both bend the knee to Outworld's new Emperor. Put down the amulet. Its evil is beyond your control. <laughs> do you think I do battle, not train with my weapons? I am more than prepared. So General Shao casts his lot with Outworld's enemies against me. He's a fool to ally with you blood-sucking fiends. Still, you fight on. It is a pointless endeavor. You're no better than Shang Tsung's monstrosities. Tanya and your daughters. They are not dead, but trapped in the amulet. We can still save them. that you are party to Shao's treason. Know that it will cost you your life. I owe him mine many times over. Sacrificing it in his service would be an honor. That the man misled you makes you no less culpable. You will answer for this question. Your rebellion is doomed. Your betrayal hurts most, Rain. I thought of you as a son. I've outgrown you, Empress. Shang Tsung's taught me that I've scratched just the surface of my power. To explore it, I can't be bound by your limits. You are forever dead to me. <laughs> is over, Sindel. I remember the weak, sickly boy you were. How your father fought to push you past your infirmities. Now you repay him by spitting on his ideals? Your revolt shreds every value he held dear. Fight! You've forsaken both me and the Empire. Your family name will be forever tarnished. <laughs> you are relieved, General. The amulet, your majesty. I hear.
way to disrupt. But we must act quickly to save Earthrealm. Is that the command of my creator? No, your majesty. It is the request of a friend. Will they stand down, if ordered? No. Those are the General's most loyal lieutenants. They must be neutralized if we are to shut down the Soul Stealers. Yes, they do. We should split up. Greetings, Jared. Liu Kang, my friend. We meet again. It is good to have you back. We once again find ourselves in challenging circumstances. And once again, we will prevail. As always, Sindel, I am yours to command. Is it they're unaware that the Soul Stealers are shut down? We are deep within the mountain. From here, they couldn't tell. Look at them conspiring. It is history we should not be repeating. We must take the crown. Without it, he can't raise more warriors. Our odds will improve if we can surround them. I'll distract them while the rest of you get into position. Leave it to me, Mother. A bold gambit, princess. It is an impressive display of guile. Who knew she was so capable? The fight, perhaps. Not the battle. True. Until your benefactor is caught, the realms remain threatened. Who is she, sorcerer? <laughs> Speak of the devil. Liu Kang, meet Damashi. Damashi? You are the victim of deception, sorcerer. You're not Damashi. You're me. More correctly, you are me. A poor facsimile, anyway. Made lesser by Liu Kang's meddling. What's happening here? Who is he? This Chang Song is whom I battled for the Hourglass. I thought him dead. As I did you, Liu Kang. It turns out our battle released mammoth energies which ripped apart time's fabric. The fight had two conclusions. In one, I was the victor. In the other, it was you. It was eons before I discovered this. Once I did, I knew the path forward. I took this form and infiltrated your timeline. I elevated these wretches, giving them great power. Together, they sowed discord among the realms and assembled for me the Dragon Army. I led them to believe they were aiding my conquest of Earthrealm and Outworld. But my intent is to exterminate all life in this timeline, and then merge it into my own. You promised us realms. Now you leave us to slaughter? You were pawns, not partners. Your purpose served. You will be sacrificed. We served you loyally, built you the Dragon Crown. This? This is a toy. 
I do not need it to control the dragon army. Only the souls contained within. Goodbye, Liu Kang. Neither you nor your timeline will be missed. It appears our interests align. For now. Know that I trust neither of you. I will finish you both at the first hint of treachery. If you dare, I will finish what Raiden could not. Your tenacity is to be admired. Until our last breaths are taken, as long as blood flows through our veins, we are not beaten. <laughs> Noble sentiments, which in the end matter little. None of you will leave here alive. I'll lose her mother. If my mother dies, she won't be the only sin down to perish! This is when I rip out your heart with my hands! <sighs> mother, you can't go. Not yet. It's my time, dear. At least... We had a few hours more. I will cherish them. Mother... You are now Empress. Rule well. I will, Mother. Father and Katana will help me. collected your mother's soul. It resides within me. She is safe.
will be your final rest. You stand no chance against royalty. Before I scream. Be delicious, chill. Allow me. Done, daughter. You're welcome. Now hurry. There's no time to waste. Your fire is no match for mine. I expect this to be hair raising. Assist me, Quan Chi. Sindel, you are almost there. Back away before I scream. Further, Sindel. Follow me. Your defenses have failed, Shang Tsung. 
This is over. I do not think so. Realize, sorcerer, that you've brought this on yourself. Avarice and Ego have again proved your undoing. We have no choice but to eradicate you. It is you who will be eradicated. You and your followers. And once you are dead, all timelines will be mine. position is precarious. To survive, you must submit. Yes. The question you must ask is, if Liu Kang couldn't finish us, how possibly could you? And they called me the Chosen One. To each timeline its own. Shall we? You have done more than enough. Please permit me to end this. May that be the last we see of you. Liu Kang, what's happening? Timeline. Without Shang Tsung to hold it together, it's falling apart. You must return to your timeline before this one collapses. Thank you for your aid, Sindel. May we one day meet again. The darkness enveloped me. I took a long, last look at my family. I did not expect to see them again, until their souls joined mine in the living forest. But miraculously, my beloved husband delivered me from oblivion. Though he couldn't save my body, Jared had preserved my soul. Like him and countless others, I am now a part of Ermac. Yet ours is not a peaceful repose. The collected souls within Ermac have their own needs and agendas. Before we can speak as one, we must first reach consensus. I had thought, as the former rulers of Outworld, I and Jared would hold sway. But here we are, two souls among many thousands, fighting for the right to be heard. And if there is one thing we do well together, it is fight. We will win the right to govern Ermac as we once had governed Outworld. And we will rule for the benefit of all.